Jonah chapter 1. I just want to look at a couple things about Jonah and see how we can apply these to our lives. So there in Jonah chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible reads, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before thee, before me. So we see God giving Jonah a job. God gives Jonah a job to go against this city that's filled with wickedness. Right? And a lot of times, God expects us to stand up for wickedness. He expects us to stand up for unrighteous living. Whether it's an everyday life in our family, we see unrighteousness, we should stand up and show that unrighteousness. Whether we're at work, we see unrighteous speaking, unrighteous activity, we should stand up for God's righteousness and reveal the unrighteousness. And in verse 3 it says, But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish, so he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. So God gives Jonah this job to stand up for righteousness, to stand against wickedness, and Jonah gets scared. Jonah flees from the presence of the Lord. We can, we can just examine ourselves, and I know for a fact we all do this at times, whether it's with our family, whether it's at work. We know that it's wrong what they're doing. We know that it's wrong what they're talking about, what they're saying, but we just stay quiet. We don't, we don't stand up for the righteousness of God. And we see J uh, Jonah doing the same thing. He's running from the presence of God, and we know we're not going to run from the presence of God. Look at verse 4. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. So even though Jonah thinks he's running from one area of his life to hide from God, God's right there to catch him. You know, we can, we can do the same thing. When we're, when we're staying quiet about unrighteousness, when we're staying quiet about wickedness, God's going to act in our life to push us to fight for Him. Let's look at verse 4. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. So we see a great a storm come across the ship that Jonah entered in. Verse 5, Then the mariners were afraid, and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea, to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. Now I want you to notice that these mariners, they was afraid, and they cried unto their God. And Jonah was a coward, and he went and hid. Jonah didn't, Jonah didn't even pray to his God. He went and hid at the bottom of the ship. Verse uh, 6. So the shipmasters came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God, if so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. And a lot of times in our life when we're not obeying the commandments of God, God's chastisement can come upon us. And not only is it going to affect us, but it's going to affect the people around us, you know, and we we don't need to be cowards of our God. We need to stand up for our God. When yeah. people are praying against false gods, we need to pray for the right God. We need to pray to the right God. <clears throat> Verse seven. And they said, every one to his fellow, come and let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots and the lot fell upon Jonah. So they're in the ship. The storm's coming, and they're trying to figure out why is this happening. So they cast their lots, and the lots fell on Jonah. God's revealing why this chastisement has come. And notice that chastisement is not coming on the ungodly. Chastisement is because of the godly did not stand up for the things yes. of God. Right? Look at verse 8. Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? What is thy occupation, and whence comest thou? What is thy country, and of what people art thou? So now they're wondering about Jonah. What's his background? You know, what's going on? Why is this happening to you? And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceeding afraid, and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord, because he had told him. So now these people are fearing the true God. Right? Look at verse 11. <clears throat> then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, 
that the sea may be calm unto us, for the sea wrought and was temp temp tempestuous. So they're wondering, what can we do? We're in this situation. we got a storm coming. We're about to die. What can we do? Verse 12, And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. So at least Jonah is admitting and acknowledging that he's being chastised by the God. Right? Verse 13, Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not, for the sea wrought and was temp tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood. For thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea, and the sea ceased from her raging. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly, and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord, and made vows. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. So what we can learn from Jonah is we need to stand up for righteousness. When we're put in situations where we see things that are ungodly, we need to just be bold, and we need to stand up for righteousness, stand up for God, show people that we worship the true God, and now let's, yes. let's not be the one that goes into the belly of the fish. Let's stand up for God. Let's pray. Father God, I just thank you for your word. I just thank you that we could just read a passage and apply it to our lives. I just ask that you fill the next preacher with your spirit. We love you in Jesus' name.